Okay, people, um, I'm just going to introduce you to my um, app that I've uh, created. Um, it's basically a Sheets add-on. So I'm going to go to the add-ons, go to my app, which is for Question Generator, click on the first app, part of the app. It's got two parts of the app, Question Generator, Import, Export, so I'll click on that one. Okay, and what you've got here, you can create a sheet and create a random number of questions. Uh, various other buttons there. You've got a garden sheet to explain what all the buttons and things do on this page. Then you've got a get in touch uh, link there so that you can um, post any problems to me, which hopefully I'll sort out. Uh, the next page is import export page. And on that page, okay, yeah, you can sort of like import questions from another Google form by putting in the URL there. Um, selecting the sheet where you want the question to go and then click import down here you've got various other buttons so say you've obviously generated so many random questions you can then export them to either one of these quizzes including google forms okay and the same again if you go to the bottom you've got a gardens page uh, and a get in touch link um, okay so let's go back to the question generator page okay right i'm going to create a sheet Okay, call it tests. Create. Okay, there we go. It should pop down here. And it's automatically formatted for you with a green ribbon on top. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, so I'll give you an example of how to generate random number of questions. So I'm going to say I want 10 random uh, questions. I'm going to select the source sheet. So that's where I'm getting the questions from. So I'm getting from that sheet all units which has got all the questions in roughly around uh, 1500 questions okay i'm going to send those 10 questions to the test sheet which is this one it's empty at the moment all right okay so i'm just going to click send and there you go it's just uh, generated 10 random questions there just as quickly as i created them i can actually delete them so there we go all right now, next thing that I want to do is test the power of this thing. Okay, so I want 500 random questions from all units going to test sheet. Okay, so if I send that. Okay, that's how quick it does it. 500 random questions from the 1500. Okay. As you can see there, I can scroll down further to show that there's found the questions there, but I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, so just as quickly as I created them, I can also delete them. Okay, so go to test, click on delete questions, and it's deleted them all. So, okay, the next bit that I want to sort of show you is how we can generate questions from a certain unit or a type of or a certain subunit so i'm going to choose these again same sheets used being used um okay so i'm going to put in type in that unit okay i'm going to ask for accidents i want 10 questions click on send okay and we've got them from both unit 201 and 202 these can be words as well so don't get uh, too upset about that. Okay, so again, just as quickly as I create them, I can delete them. Okay, now the final bit that I want to show you, um, basically, uh, is basically how, how you can choose from a subunit. Now I'm just going to do PPE. I know the subunit has got a longer title than that, but I'm just going to try and show you um, that you don't need to put all the titling because sometimes we don't remember it okay or we can't remember it okay so i'm going to do 10 questions again click send okay and there it is ppu and pure all right so that's basically in a nutshell what this thing can do okay so on the face of that um i'm going to generate some more questions so i'm going to um, just so i can go through the next part which is exporting the questions to a google form and kahoot and maybe if we get time to quiz realize so i'm going to delete these questions delete the questions okay all units same sheets again tests 201 
and I want the 10. Okay, so there you go. Let's create the questions again. So, right, so this bit, I'm going to go into the import export page. Okay, um, I'm going to, to send these questions to Google Form, the Google Form, which you can name how you want it really. So, I'm just going to put test. Okay, taken from the sheet test because that's what where they're in. Okay, and I'm just going to select the type quiz click on form and what you'll notice when it's done it'll chuck in two urls here and it'll also throw throw it into your google drive okay <clears throat> so there you go all right you can use those to copy and paste into a google doc or any other doc if, uh, as links okay but i'm going to go to my google drive okay and it's should have put them re, uh, in, put it in there so click refresh and there it is okay there's my google form open it up and it's got all the questions there generated you for you just like that okay if you also notice it has actually given you the answer key as well so when people take this quiz it will automatically get scored and it's a self-marking quiz and that is all down to how it's uh, set up in the sheets here. It gives the answers as one, 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 two, according to the options there. Okay, so you do not have to mark this. Um, it self marks and they get a score straight away as, as well as the right and wrong answers. Okay. Um, if you go into responses, um, if you click that, you'll get a spreadsheet which automatically populates with the responses from people you know how many marks they got and their answers what they got right and what they got wrong okay uh, i've not bothered, bothered coding in for that i've let that you decide that because sometimes people don't want loads of things uh, pinging into the message box all the time so they might want to select that they might not okay so if you go into settings you can also set these things as you freely want okay anyhow so that was a google form okay so if we go back into the the app again now i'm going to chuck these questions into kahoot and if we get time i might even do quiz realize so uh, i'm going to select it from the same sheet again i'm going to call this kahoot okay um and i'm basically going to generate a kahoot sheet and hopefully load it into kahoot as a quiz so if we click that and there we go is a kahoot sheet generating now okay with all those questions in it if you also look in your drive um it will also have, um, put that sheet into your drive okay now what you need to do with that it's in xls x format I, it's already in Excel format, not in Google format. So if you right click uh, and download, it will download it into your downloads for you to throw straight into your Kahoot. So if we go to Kahoot, and I'm gonna go and create a Kahoot quiz now. Okay, when it loads. Okay, click on create. And then I'm gonna import from a spreadsheet. So I'll select my file from here. If I go to my downloads, click on Kahoot, open. Um, and what it sometimes do does Kahoot, it lets you know if your questions are too long. It has, does have a limit on the amount of uh, how many characters per question, 90 characters per question. So if I've got any questions which are longer than that, then it will tell me. And I can either delete them or uh, change them. Uh, for this sort of example, I'll probably end up just carrying on without them, okay? So I'm going to upload it. Okay, so it's just question one. This is a good question, just a few characters too long. Okay, there you go. So I'm not going to bother with that. So I'm just going to continue without. Okay. Um, okay, and then I'm going to give it a name. Um, accidents maybe. Done. Okay. Validating Kahoot. So let's just test it out and see what it does. 
Okay, so it should just come up as a test. And what you'll get is a screen like this. Okay, this is just a test, a preview, how it works. Okay, so I'm going to go into classic mode. It's going to give me a game pin. Which is that. And I've got to type this into here, which, the, which is exactly what your students or anyone taking your test will do. Okay, they'll type the code into there, give themselves a nickname. I don't know, I don't know. Belly, I don't know. I feel like when I've got one, a large belly at the moment. So anyhow, okay, there we are. So I'll just click start. Two, one. Quiz starting now. What are the most common types of injuries? Misspelling there. Ooh, uh, let's go for that one, yeah. So I've got that right. Okay. Normally when it's actually in full flow and you're actually taking this question, uh, this this quiz live, there'll be music going on in the background and you can actually choose what type of music uh, you have. Okay. So that's just an example of um, what you can do there.